video I'm going to be touching on the importance of wearing your crown for my kings and queens, my emperors and empresses, you know what I mean? So, people really don't even realize that their hair is them. It goes beyond being just hair or, or what they taught you, it's, it's dead protein or whatever they want to call it. Um, your hair is your locks, your crown is literally tactile fibers. Your hair is literally fibers. Your locks is literally internal. This is inside your body. This is all your. Let me show you something. This is literally you. This is your mind streaming. So even if you think of your your locks, your hair, your crown, whatever words these people give it, whatever words we we call it in society. Your locks is not outside of you, it's inside of you. And it's, it's what connects you to the mind of the Most High. Seeing? So people take this thing lightly, man. Um, I'm not going into none of their big science words or nothing like that. I'm just trying to, I'm striving to, to help I and I think for a second and ask questions. What is our hair? Why did why did God, why did the universe, why did Jah, all these different names people want to give? Why why do we have hair? Why when you cut it, it's growing right again? You know, people will perish because of a lack of knowledge. So I'm just here be that subconscious reminder to whoever observes I. Your locks is synonymous to the leaves you see right there on the coconut tree. That coconut tree without leaves would not have coconuts on it. They science might not tell you that. I don't need a book to tell me that. I am a book. This is common sense. Well, I guess it's not that common. It's uncommon. But yeah, um, having your crown is very vital. Being a king or a queen or whatever you would like to call yourself. Your crown is very, very important. So um, I recommend that one-on-ones don't destroy life. You know, growing your hair is a representation of a, a divine covenant unto the most high it's like separating from iniquity it's one of the steps I'm not saying everybody that has locks is, is right and exact because sometimes it's a covering for a demon and without discernment you know you won't even be able to see but those who can see will be shown more and those who can hear will be told more so as I said, I'm not one that's going to 
go into their big words or try to woo you with some, you know, um, terminologies that you may not have heard. I'm simply telling you your hair is fibers connected to your what they will call your brain. And it's coming out of the top of your crown for a reason. This is your crown. Your locks is... <laughs> it's a plant, so take care of your plant. You know, water it. Allow it to get some fresh air. Put the, the best quality of water on your locks, on your hair. You know what I'm saying? Um, we just really have to start separating from anything that goes against life. That's what the world or... I don't even want to say the word. That's what the earth is forward into. It's forward into sustainability, to life, to simplicity, to oneness. This is the forward movements. And that's what, you know, every knee shall bow. Everyone must come to this. So as a recommendation, stop destroying yourself. Let's, let's walk away from being self-destructive. Let's, let's enter life. Let's, let's return to simplicity and walk away from confusion. There's no one to blame. Don't blame the system because you grew up and there's barber shops and hair salons. Actually, I said on one of my posts how barber shops and hair salons actually add to the carbon footprint. Literally. All your hair and you know, when, when you're at the barber shops and they cut your hair, it, it goes wherever the trash is, which then ends up at landfills. And, you know, all of this adds to CO2 emissions. Um, hair is biodegradable, but they're not recycling things in a sustainable way. Um, I don't even want to say it they, but we, we're not. We're doing things in a very destructive way. And as I said, the earth is forwarding, is moving forward to self-sustainability, simplicity, and oneness. And anything or anyone that's not in alignment with that is gonna pretty much perish. So as a reminder to I and I, this part of the I is here to share simple reminders, man. Your hair is beautiful, you so beautiful. Every woman that was bashing me on that post, I love you. I actually went through some of them comments and went on some of y'all pages. <laughs> you guys said a lot of hurtful things, but it's okay. You know, I forgive you. So yeah, man, share this with your friends and your family. It's very, very important information. There's a lot of different information on the internet about hair and, and locks and the importance of hair. So. I was just doing my part of the collective sharing how your hair is, a better word for it would be your crown. You know, it's coming, it's growing out of your crown and it's constantly growing. You know, we can learn a lot from just observing life. If you look at the ocean, if you look at the trees, everything is, is changing, it's subject to change. When you think of the ocean and how it keeps on going, it's persevering, nonstop, not stagnant not getting too comfortable, you know what I'm saying? When you think of the, the coconut tree and the crown, <laughs> the coconut tree, it, the, the breeze just blows it and it's able to bend, but it doesn't break. You know what I'm saying? It stays grounded, allows nothing to knock it off its pivot. So. Be more like a coconut tree. <laughs> as funny and corny as that may sound, keep grow your crown, man, so you could have the ability, or the, so you can increase your possibilities of manifesting more fruits for your labor. Because without your crown, it's literally compromising your ability to manifest fruits in life. I hope that resonates. Whoever observes, I share this with your friends and your family. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, The Kosi Baba. Follow me on IG. Don't even follow me. Do what I'm doing. If this
this resonates with you. You know that I'm you, but you should know that already. And just, just do this, live this. This is all you, this is your universe. And in case you're wondering why my mouth is shivering a little bit, the breeze is a little chilly. I've been on the, been on the beach for a minute. Yeah, man. But yeah, man, more life, more peace, more happiness to everyone. I hope everyone's having a great, progressive, um, eventful day. And before I go, just to reiterate what I was saying, your hair is literally fibers, tactile fibers. God gave you hair for a reason. In the book of Judges in your Bible, for those who are uh, Christians or Catholic, it talks about the Nazarite vow and things of that nature. You know, you have a lot of different people that's just growing their hair to follow fashion. They don't really, this isn't a fashion thing, you know what I'm saying? Just just be you and, and embrace divinity. We must allow God to flow through us unapologetically. We must be servants to the Most High, to the Divine. We must literally empty our cup to be filled with life, with light which would be the mind of God, which would be the Christ. We must literally become I am. So yeah, man. Peace to everybody that tuned in. Like, comment, share.